already. <sighs> Let's get into it, I suppose. What are we doing? Ah, uh, yes. That's right. Alright, so we ended up in Lorenia last time. Um, there is a way to get up in this area, and I kind of want to try to find that real quick. Um... Man, I'm not really sure, though. Um, so we have the Carrier Manor. We beat Renala. There's a few things I gotta clean up first before I head to Caleb. First things first. We need to go to... Lift side chamber, I think. We'll check. that way. Really? <laughs> Ooh. What up, boys? Excuse me. Yeah, sure. Nah, dude. Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. Now we can go back outside and actually do something, because I'm not gonna fucking fight them without any sort of fucking way of not being able to come back quick. That'd be dumb. Giant cat things over here. Ah, bastard. Big cat killed. Oof, man, he gave us a bunch of stuff. Oh. 
I forgot this is a Stormvale castle. Raise the random light. Yeah. What the frig? I love that. I love when that happens. Wow, really a grade five rune already in this in this area? Yeah, that would have been awesome. Get some extra souls early on. That's that's a good amount. <clears throat> Level five is pretty good. Okay. There isn't a way up. It must be, yeah, the way from up there. Yeah, where you like fall down. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I forgot I sat down. I'm like, why are there enemies here? I just fucking killed them all. Yep, forgot I sat down. Eh. Killed you already. The Bolt Drake Talisman. <clears throat> Oof. Fire hot. Okay. Missed by a hair. Running away. Oof.
Yep, no Torrent. That's what I thought. If I only had a bridge. Yeah, me too. Forgot to come up into this, into this uh, rune tower, the entire time. <clears throat> it's like I knew I was forgetting something. I, had, I have two runes, and I can get one of them. Two great runes. It's been sitting on them the whole time. those by going to the sites of grace I think that would be that would be the way to go oh whoops no 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 great runs there you go yep I'm just gonna use that one for right now because I don't have the ability to get Renala's I need some sort of special thing to turn the study hall upside down, basically. I don't remember where it is that I could get that, though. So. Hmm. I 
to see if I can find the way up to the cliff side. It's that wall right there. It's a way in there. I only need to, like, I only need, like, 2,000. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I'm just not with it today. Trying to navigate the menus. For Christ's sake, can't even do that. And just enough on my person. Perfect. Um... Not sure... Endurance would be a good one. I'm gonna go with Dex. I'm gonna go with Dex. Didn't drop anything. So, bitch. Okay. Yeah, but then I just come up into this. Hmm. <clears throat> and there doesn't seem to be any real way up.
Jesus. Okay. Oh man, whatever. I was like, wait a second, I've, that's just the minor earth tree though, that's like the one that I already went to. There was a way that I, there was a way that I got in there before in my first playthrough, but I cannot remember how I did it. Oh, there's really just no way up that way, I guess. Oh, there is though that way, I think. We can get that little ledge. Oh, oh, come on. I'm not going to dedicate too much time to trying to do this, but I kind of think I can get that. Dude, hell yeah, okay. Okay. Yes! Oh my god, look at that fucking parkour skills! Look at them fucking parkour skills. <clears throat> If someone's gonna look at this and watch it back at some point, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta commend that. That's fucking awesome. That was so cool. I thought it was cool, and I did it. <clears throat> Torrent parkour is not my forte, so doing this, doing that is kind of fucking wild to me. <coughs> the Bellum Highway. is that? Oh, do I just not look at it? Hello? Oh, it... Oh, it's gonna do the thing. Oof.
solve the puzzle to enter. A hit, huh? Sure. There's a secret inside the building, though. I'll own it. Oh, my ever loving Christ. Great. And I didn't get any sort of grace. Shit. That sucks. We're gonna have to go back up. Giant there again? 
No, but okay, cool. It's just a once a thing, once once one life only kind of guy, huh? Yep. Thing I do know is I need to take care of that fucking thing that's doing the eye in the sky fucking shit. That is not, that is not happening. How we doing tonight? How we doing tonight? Well, the day was all right. The day was all right. Work went well. It was a nice and nice and chill day. It wasn't too much, which is nice. Thankfully, hope, hope your day was good as well. Hey everybody, hey, how we doing, how we doing? Alright. God, man. Okay. I don't know how to get up here originally, so I'm just doing that because I don't have any other kinds of skills, I guess. Um... Oh, there's a lot of... Shabri Breeze Woe. Isn't that the get more damage talisman? Yes, they are. That is definitely... They're definitely one of my favorites, but yeah, definitely like top two. Definitely top two. Or, yeah, definitely top two. I would definitely say it's top two. There's no way that it's lower than top two. Where do they sit for you? God. Rat 
rats, rats, rats. Oh, how I hate the rats. Okay. Don't face rats on the ground. Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, isn't that that, um... Journey to the West game that is being made from like a Chinese company or something. It looks like it's made with like Unreal Engine 5 and shit. Something like that. Howl of Shabribri. Yeah, I've heard of it. I. Heard, I haven't heard anything of it coming back out yet, unless it's coming soon. Ooh. You play as monkey. Not only do you play as monkey, you play as the monkey man. Like the like OG. Sung Wukong is like amazing. He's literally like God plus ten. Or God to the power of ten. He's just so powerful for like whatever reason. Oh, no way. Hell yeah. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna look more into it, too. I wanna see gameplay. For sure. We're, I'm definitely gonna be checking out gameplay and shit beforehand. I hope there's... I hope there's a bit of gameplay at least out for it at this point. If they're gonna be coming out in August. Frenzied cookbook. Hmm. Take that, I'll take that. Oof. I forget that these are Ray and Lucarian soldiers. Okay. Yeah, so they have those glintstone things. Fuck. God damn it. At least I have the sight of grace up here now. That I don't have to do torrent parkour to get up here. Still, bird blade. Okay. I'll go back for the runes in a moment. Oh, okay, you come up here through over by the deck. This thing. All right. I just took a really dumb way around. Gonna be akin to Sekiro. More focused combat than Dark Souls or Elden Ring. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be dope. That's gonna be good. I would love that. I would love that so much. Actually, that would be really good. A more combat-focused game. Um. I mean, I don't remember the name of the weapon itself, because I'm pretty sure, it, like, Sun Wukong has... It's him, the main character. But he, I think the weapon he wields has a name, but it also is able to, like, change into anything he really wants it to. Like, even in, like, the regular mythology of it. Or in, like, the original story of it. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, he's got his staff. 
and it's like black with like gold on either ends or something like that, I think. That or I'm remembering something from Naruto. Giant red. Oh. That's a good one, though. Here we go. Frenzied Burst. Oh, that's the fucking Superman powers. We got the eye beams. Those look like they project death. I'm kind of hyped for that game now. That's gonna be fucking awesome. I'm, I'm gonna fucking ride that out so hard. Oh, they don't do death, but they do madness, which is, like, equal to death, anyway. Alright. Holy fuck! Like, not okay. Not okay. I thought I saw, like, a Church of America somewhere on, on, like, this area. Like, when I was riding around earlier, but I might be wrong. Sounds good, sounds good. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. doesn't stop the fire damage coming back up. Nice try, nice try. Ooh, you're all out, huh? All out. Ooh, nice try, buddy. Yep, he got me, he got me, he got me, he got me. Oh, I'm done. Yep. I don't know how is he still alive. That's kind of weird, but okay. I'm going to go back and fight that guy. I almost got him. Hey, welcome in.
Whoa. And the frenzy stuff is shit. Oh, I caught him. Oh, he's pulling out all, all of his hat tricks. But I got him. Okay. Not bad. Fingerprint grape. Bikes of War Spear. Church of Inhibition. We got the Sacred Tear and the Finger Maiden Finger Maiden Fellet Robe and Shoes. Interesting. So we're at 8 plus 7 right now for flasks. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And then there's Dectus. There's the Dectus lift. The lift of Dectus. Where is the fucking... I need to look up where the other key is. Hello, hello. I need to know where that other half is. I have the key... Yeah, I have the left medallion, but where's the right one? I need to fucking look it up because I can't remember. This medallion right. Ah, it's in the Dragon Burrow. You can find it at abandoned Fort Ferris, south of the Minor Erd Tree in Kaled. Oh boy. Looks like we get to go to Kaled. Well it <laughs> stream is called Greg Moves to Greg Moves to Kaled. So looks like it's time. Smoldering Church it is, baby! Alright, so... We already got Smoldering Church, so that's good. That means that I beat Anastasia. Big knife-wielding lady. This place has the creepiest music out of the entire open sections of the game. Anywhere. Draw string lightning grease, oh boy. Not as good as just regular lightning grease, but that's okay. Mmm. Tasty, isn't it? It just looks so good. Ugh. Nasty. I don't know how much of Kale it's going to get done today, specifically, but we'll at least try to get a good portion of it at least somewhat conquered. We'll see how we hold up against everything, because so far I'm pretty well level-paced uh, as is. It's rotting everything. Rotting Scarlet. 
very earth that Caelid rests upon at Celia, a town of sorcery. And nigh of it all. Okay. I just find runes. Oh, they're with a bunch of fucking. gross looking things. Second playthrough is always necessary. I don't feel as much of the grind as I did before when I first played this game. The first time I played this game, I was like, oh my god, when is it gonna end? Like at points, I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then other times, I was just like, this is just going on for so long, it's crazy. Like when I thought I'd get to the end of something, then I'm back to doing another mountain climb, you know? I'm like, holy fuck. How much further can we really go, you know? And then, well, I found out. Apparently it's really fucking far. Apparently it's really fucking far. Ooh, that was bad. That was really bad almost. Uh, what am I trying to acquire? Oh, faded erd... Flower leaf, or whatever. Erd leaf flower. saying it's got that little bit of brown to it. Poison! It's poison! Oh, look. It's another avatar. I'm going to name him Ang. Yo name Ang. Let's fucking go. Boy. Oh, this guy's got Scarlet Rod. Yep, he's got Rod on board. Great. Wow, that's got some fucking range to it. That's dumb. Okay. Oh, God. Nothing more that I hate than Scarlet Rock. There's like no real good resistance to it, really. And it just inflicts so much damage. It's just like poison, but on crack. Imagine they added the toxic feature to Elden Ring, right? And then all it does is just fucking constantly damage you for ever. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. Stop crouching. What the fuck? Nice try, motherfucker. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, that's right, baby. Come on over. time around and we'll see how far we're gonna end up going through this thing before I don't want to go through it because I don't like Scarlet Rot and it's in Kaelid so that means there's Scarlet Rot I don't see any motherfuckers on the wall. There's one right there, though. There's the Scarlet Rot. Okay.
weird. Why are there a bunch of crabs? There's crabs and Kaelid all the way down at the bottom of the catacombs. Okay. Don't really get that, but sure. Aha, you motherfucker. That dude right there just had to watch his friend die. That's pretty rugged. It's really heavy. the imp heads give you certain, like, boosts to things, too. I just drank that for no reason. Sacramental blood. Or bu bud. What the fuck? Not blood. Sacramental bud. Reggae playing in the background. something I'm looking for. But I... <sighs> Never mind. It's not, it's not the bud. I was, I was looking for something else. Grave glove work level 5. That's... Not bad. I'm doing pretty good for the stuff in Kaelid so far, so that's not bad either. I like that. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Alrighty. Soap does not work on that. Only those will work on that. Just in case. I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen soon. How many of those can I make? One? Perfect. Drink. Eat. Eat. Traverse the mist. Oh, see? That's why we do that. Because it's Sword and Scepter, baby. I don't have enough FP. But... <sighs> right. Demi human ashes. Fucking section. That's the big thing. Oh, I should have moved. Yeah, because that was going to happen. All that prepping for literally nothing. <laughs> All that prep for us, per se, but, you know. Alright. Chug the juice. Get this juice ready. Ding-a-ling. And... Now 
now it's like two on like half. Two on like one and a half, because all those guys don't count for shit. Most of them most of them will die. Swords doing the fire thing. Okay, these guys have like nothing to do against these. Wow. I don't have much to do against these either. Shit. Alright. Yep. This is not going to be a fun one. So that's not gonna do shit. I didn't even get a chance to get that off. Again, didn't get a chance. Okay, that's just Garbo. All of the stuff I have is not to work in. gonna accept this one as a learning curve and realize that the boss is gonna probably be really hard. Not giving up, we're gonna go get stronger. So we're we are weak. We need to be stronger for this. We're going to place down a boss marker. That's what I want to use for boss, at least. We'll continue through Kaled. I at least got that Erd Tree avatar down, though. That was good. Got a couple more tiers for my... Flask, which I actually should check on because that's actually going to be pretty helpful if I can use some better shield. Alright, Wondrous Physic. We have steadily does half, temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. Hmm. about the exploding one, but for right now I think we're, we're set then for what we have. If we have anything else come up later in the future, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. Nothing right now, though. 
Alright, so there's giant doggos, which is just perfect. Oh my. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I at least got the spell. And we'll go back right again and check out those dogs. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. These dogs, I swear. Giant doggo. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, okay. Okay, so the dogs aren't too bad, I guess, at least from that one. I thought they would hit a little bit harder from my first initial experience there just a moment ago. That's alright. Now, the, this giant bird. Super easy, I guess. Just sleep on it. It's fine. A rune arc. Okay. Giant mutated dogs. All because of the Scarlet Rock. Ooh, it's the guts style greatsword too. Hell yeah. I bet I can't even wield that. I probably need like 30 something strength. Oh, I can. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Why doesn't it have an X then? I need 31 strength in order to wield it. God, look at that. Oh. That'd be awesome, but right now we've got a regular greatsword, and that is perfectly okay. Colossal greatsword would do us no good. Alright. So the dogs really aren't anything to worry about, so that's good to know. Maybe the ones that are like the white dogs, those ones are probably the ones to watch out more for. That's fine. At least. Coming out of the ground. don't need to come up out of the ground for me. You're all good. I'm just running and grabbing the item. Moving along. Smoldering butterfly. Okay, okay. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. Oh, there's even more of them right here.
Oh no. Oh come on, I didn't even get a chance to heal. Fuck you. Whatever the fuck those things are anyway, like who came up with that design? What Leonardo da Vinci fuck came up with those kinds of shits? Why wasn't I using Torrent? Did I forget about the fact that I own a horse for free? Stay to his side, it'll be all good. Alright. Uh, finger reader crone, okay. to go see Latena. I know that for sure. I don't know where Bach is. I need to find him. I told the old that I possess or have you come as my other oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus interests then I have no choice but to trust that they let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. Would you consider I must go back? There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig tree. If you accept. I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts sure. of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree. In Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half, I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Show up. Oh, not like that. Merchant Kale, Sorcerer Selin. Let's go see Selin real quick. Just in case I have anything that I can give to her. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. So, to become a sorcerer first. Now, shall we start learning? Is that a scroll? 
Very well. I'll be sure to inc never lose that. Huh, is that a scroll? Very well. I'll be sure to inc never lose that. Good amount there, so that's good. And then we gotta go outside, and we're gonna go see Blade or bl Blood. I don't, I don't know. Build. We just gotta go down into the forest. Before we get, like, way too far ahead of ourselves and, like, something happens where I can't do certain things, I want to be able to at least see if I can get this quest line to kick in by talking to him. Okay. There's totally a skull there, but okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, that's a big bear. We don't want that. sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a and in need of a fitting end. Darrowell and in need of a Darrowell and in need of a Okay. I don't know. I don't know where Bach went. Scenic Isle, Patches, another Finger Reader Crone. Ah, there he is. Okay. He just moved over to the place north of where he was originally. Hello, sir. Bok is ready to make. Oh. I thought I had... Oh, that's weird. I thought I had something for him. Yeah, the Golden Tailor Tools. Allows demigod, demigod garb alteration at Sites of Grace. Oh, it's just for me. <sighs> Don't want that. Your seamster, Bok. He is always eager to see your return. Please, 
Will you talk to him? When you can. I'm sure he would be much contented. Shall I turn? Let my hand rest upon you. Share them with me. There's no way I have enough. Bok, this is ready to me. Oh, uh, please. All right. Well, it's because no, nope, because this game you fully rest instead of like Sekiro Bok, where you don't rest. Oh. Okay. Go in the what the fuck then? Why tell me to talk to him when I can, when, and I can now, but then it's like no. Not right now. I just told you to. You can't do that now. I missed this. This whole big thing here. When I go here, I'm going to go southeast. I'm going to go to that island and see what the fuck's up. Some sort of building there. Some sort of temple. I know I'm in the temple quarter, but it kind of makes sense, right? Aha! There it is. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Rose Church. How quaint. Oh, that's right. It's mini mode. Yeah. No need to worry, my friend. You're all good. No need to worry. You don't have to attack people no more, especially me. Oh, but this place then doesn't have, like, upgrade material then, because it's all fucked up. That I already grabbed it, but I would have found this place anyway then. Weird. Alright, so the ready is being worked on somewhat. Get back to the smoldering wall. We'll board there. I am going to wrap this up at about 9 today. I know I have 10 in the schedule, but 9 is going to be the, the, the time tonight. I haven't been getting good sleep recently, so I need to... Need to start working on doing that a little bit more often, so I'm going to try to do it. For, do my health bet good. I'm do my health good. Try to sleep all right, at least for once, hopefully. Ooh. What in the fuck? He staggered every time I hit him, so that was perfect. That was awesome.
Whoa. Never had the camera fuck up that bad before. Okay, good. Kidding. Well, isn't that just a bunch of horse shit? That was about equal damage to what we did. I already have to fight the people inside the fucking thing. And this is not that bad. Nice. Another one taken down. Patty, I know you're still watching, I hope, but, uh... All right, I hope you're still watching, uh, but and I hope you're doing well. Travel to another location. Okay. All right, where are we going now? I'm on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> nice try. Um, yeah, I could go there, but I'm pretty sure I'd have to face off against a Crucible Knight and a, like demon of some kind, I think. So, the, the cool place, but, like, nothing. We're gonna be down there in a moment anyway. I kinda wanna approach it like you would probably traditionally do. Not through, oh, look, I found this thing, so now I can go in earlier, I guess. It's just cause I was looking around the shit. Ash of War, Life Steel Fist. Oh, hey, hey, uh, like what? Besides that, uh, besides that, uh, other game you were talking about earlier. Right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please, 
Oh, it's the only confirmed one? One of the only confirmed ones, damn. Yes, you did tell me about Rise of Ronin, that's right. What? You want me to pay you 2500 What the fuck? Dude. Not okay. Oh, that's another confirmed one too? Okay, cool. That's fucking awesome too. Got a couple games to check out now, too, which is awesome. Appreciate you keeping me updated on these new games that are coming out too, by the way. I don't hear about... I haven't heard about many of those. Listen. Isn't there a Sight of Grace up there? A game called Flintlock, which is portable. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh no, what the fuck? Ooh, invaded by Millicent. Uh, except for these fucking clean rot knights who are gonna try to fuck my shit up too. Oh, I'm just gonna get my shit fucked up, period. Okay. That's just atrocious. Thanks, Millicent. Appreciate you being, um... That asshole from later in the game. Why do I seem better at Sekiro? I... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm just... I really like how Sekiro works, and it's not very... Really hard and for me to like get down I guess uh, it's fucking strange to me I guess too I don't really get it yep I also don't get fucked by like six enemies at once in that game that's another thing. Like, come on. Oh, I do like dodging, trust me. But like I can't I can't dodge when I have three people on me at once. And one of them happens to be acting like a boss from later in the game too, which is no good. Take a seat, thank you. Good night. Fuck off, Millicent. I also like to brute force things most of the time, because I'm just an asshead. Oh, so you got your friend with you now, and you think you got some fucking balls, don't you? Fuck you. Well, at least I don't have to fucking deal with Millicent now, thank god. <sighs> I hate Kaled. I hate Kaled so much, where the Scarlet Rot just permeates my soul. Yeah, I guess I'm just better with taking on the, the challenge 
front faced because the you, whenever you're playing Sekiro, you have the like it's you and the person in front of you most of the time. Very rarely is it like oh you and like ten people, you versus ten people. Much more of the time is like you versus another person. This is much more of like you can get ganged up on pretty quick and easy. Oh no, Commander O'Neill, don't be like this. I can't also roll when I'm stunlocked, I guess, too. That sucks. I don't have enough poise. Wait, I can use Torrent? Oh my god, I didn't know. Has he made it more aggressive too? Not really fair that he gets to summon like six guys. Who all happen to use the wind power shit? Stormvale Castle. Is he just going to summon more if I kill them all? It's probably what's going to end up happening, right? I'm getting stunlocked mid-air while getting shot by the bows. That's cool. Ooh, that was not cool. That was almost not cool. Ew. Gross. Get your fucking poopy ass out of here. Ooh. Choosing improper times to dodge is not the best way to do this. So again, Scarlet Rot sucks dick. Cannot stand it. I didn't get my first one off. We got our second one off, that's good. Whoosh. Whoosh. I was hoping that I'd be able to at least stagger him and get a kill in. Oh, but I didn't get it. <sighs> He's strong. He's a lot stronger than I remember him being beforehand. Which is good. That's fine. But, you know. <sighs> I'm gonna at least attempt it one more time. But, let's see what happens. Roll backwards. You, come on, roll backwards. You got this. between Sekiro and other Souls games is the dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I read that. I don't know if I already read that and responded to that, but yeah. It's just more dodging in this game. Sekiro doesn't have a lot of more of a dodger. It's just all block and parry. 
Yeah, that's... I got caught. I got caught slacking. Oh, okay, thank you. I just got caught again, man. <sighs> okay, I know I said I'm gonna be done at nine, but I'm gonna at least, I'm gonna try to get Neil down at least at least two more times. <laughs> And he already summoned them up. Oh, Torrent's really low on health, too. What the fuck? Alright. Let's do the Skeletal Ashes. Pray those guys do something good. Oh, Torrent's going. Neil's looking at me now, huh? Nice try, motherfucker. He does summon more, but it's later on, apparently. This game, the easiest boss so far, probably... Mm, I'm not really sure who the easiest one's been. There's been like a few who I've thought were easy. Oh, god damn it. Um, there's a few who I thought were easy. Um, that kind of surprised me that they were easy at the time, but it's also because I've played before. Um, let's see... Man, that's a good question. Fuck. Um, so many bosses, too. Let me think. Um, man, easiest boss? I mean the carrion, the carrion, ever jail. Not the malfactor. I need to do the malfactor. This guy sucks. Um, the cuckoo's ever jail was really easy. That was a really easy, like regular boss or whatever, like overworld boss. But like main easy game, main easy one probably Margit. That first one you face on the bridge. It, it, he's just not that he's like. He's not purposely easy, but he is, like, if you are already accustomed to how the game works, I guess. So I didn't have too much of an issue coming back and fighting him for the first time again. Ooh, Torrance. Again, still really low on health, even though I died. Some of those... Yeah, e yeah, definitely easiest boss would be Margaret. I think I faced him, like, I walked in and faced him twice, I'm pretty sure. Godric was the same way, but Godric is a little bit harder with, like, the fact that he uses fire and is, like, I don't know. I didn't summon anybody, though, for Margaret, and I didn't feel like I needed to. I just did Nefeli's summon because she's, like, a G. Nefeli's a G. Um, and she, she really does kind of kick ass.
Yeah, the Cuckoo's Everjail. Like any, I think any of the Everjails technically count as mini bosses, but I'm not really sure what their normal consideration is. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't go down on his knees for longer on that one though. Like he did, he does like a pretty big attack. Oh, don't you start with me, you motherfucker. I'm seeing the code. That's all right, that's all right. Look at this, though. Look at this, though. We're really low. He's got three dudes, they got big axes, and we got a really big sword, so it's okay. Not when they hit like that. Ooh. I'm not going to need the blue shit soon anyway, so I might as well use it to get him down a little bit. Yeah, I'm forgetting that patience is the main virtue in this game again. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. There's a couple tries. There's a couple tries, but we got them. So that's good. Alright, and I think Bach is back up here. I think I can give him that un unalloyed uh, sewing needle. Unless that's for me again. Might as well go check, though. Bok the seamster, I'm ready to make a... Oh, again. It's just for me, I guess. Um, great. Uh, yes, technically speaking. I played when the game first came out, um, back at the beginning of, or around the beginning of 2022, right, is when that came out. Um, yeah, I've already played through one time. Um, main, main character's name was Frank. Um, and we got Greg here. Um... I don't know why I name him like I do, but I just do. Frank Frank was my main character, and he was like a intelligence build. Uh, I was playing pretty, I was playing pretty dirty with the, um, what do you call it? With the Moon Veil. Moon Veil intelligence build, basically. Switched it to the um, Moonlight Greatsword, though. Like near the uh, near the end of my playthrough, and that ended up being awesome. Um, not really prepared personally to go back through and do the fire giant. That's my that's my boss that I'm that I'm like least looking forward to actually. Definitely the boss that I am not looking forward to the most is that one. I cannot. Mm. Fire giant took me like I swear what felt like fifty tries. Yes, I have tried millennia. <laughs> I have tried millennia. 
and if I get to Millennia, I'm going to do it solo this time, because I tried solo for so long. I tried solo so for so long on her, and it, it never happened. And I summoned somebody one time, and I was perfectly fine. And didn't have an issue. And I, I, didn't, I didn't even use the spirit summons for her. Because if I did, it was just a waste of FP, basically. I'm like, I need all the FP that I have in order to face this motherfucker, because she's that bad. I... Oh, God, I genuinely dislike, dislike her as a boss. And the fact that she gets health back on every hit that she lands, it's just dog shit. here give me pretty good amount of souls too. Mm. That's another one I'm not looking forward to as well. I'm finished yet. I beat her lieutenant. Um uh, Loretta, right? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I I honestly wish I had the ability to get better internet right now, but I don't. I have to use I have to use Spectro, uh, not Spectrum. I have to use Starlink. Yeah. I appreciate you sticking around, though. Yeah, it's it's the it's the Elon Musk like satellite internet shit. Cause it was either that or like some like cell phone service thing, and I'll, and this works like ten times better than any of that does for real. It works really well. Like I wouldn't even be able to do this at all if I was if I was on that. And the worst part is that Spectrum is like Spectrum service starts like not even like fifty. 500 feet down the road from my apartment building, which sucks. Or it stops. It doesn't start there. It ends there. It's atrocious. No. I don't live in the middle of nowhere, though. That's the sad part. I live, like, five minutes from, like, a pretty sizable, like... It's not a big town, but it's a sizable town of, like, I think like five to ten thousand people and that place has you know regular internet and spectrum internet and stuff like that it's just that like I live five minutes away across like a bridge basically and it just like stops it's just the service stops there and I'm like oh, okay cool I wish I could like talk to my landlord about possibly seeing if we could like get the service moved up into this building at all but like I I don't dare to try to do that but you never know god if I lived in the middle of nowhere I might be a little bit fucking happier maybe who knows As long as I had a decent internet connection. <laughs> if I lived in the middle of nowhere, it has to have a decent internet connection. No way around it. No way around it at all. Ah, yes, and we have a new map as well. Perfect. Alright. Um, I can ride... And ride up to Celia real quick. That won't be too bad. I also have the stream set to, like, the short delay, so that I can interact with chat a lot easier and stuff like that, so it's not so delayed. So maybe I would have to put on, like, the, the buffer, and maybe that would help with it and lagging and stuff as well. So I don't know. I'd have to double check. I have to look into it. 
try it out. Yeah. Spectrum service starts 500 feet, or stops 500 feet from my building. It's great. It's so much fun. to see you a pleasure indeed i am gary a great sage in my day anyway i'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along a strapping young tarnished able to cross the scarlet swamp of aeonia don't fret i'll provide fine recompense should you accept i will teach you the secret of sex oh, i need your help to her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Oh, you found as promised. I detour on. Now let me have. Mm, mm, well, well, this is a the work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can really? you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? Oh, okay. He's gonna fix the thing. For us. Which is cool. That's a really big magic bug. No, stop the stop with that. Stop with that nonsense. Cox, Verizon, and Xfinity. I haven't heard too much of Spectrum. Isn't Cox... I think Cox is more on, like, the West Coast, if I remember right. Spectrum's more on the East Coast. If, uh, if I remember right. I'm not sure. Um, but they just... They, they offer regular just internet stuff, I guess different internet packages and all that jazz. Oh, you are? Oh, okay, so maybe Cox is on, like, a bigger scale than I anticipated, than I fucking first realized. Shit. Damn. Okay. Hmm. I've never even heard of Cox, to be honest. Like, in this area, at least. Heh <laughs> heh. Celia, Town of Sorcery, Caleb. Now that's the second time I've seen something like that, and I didn't see it the first time I played, and I don't know why. I wonder if Cox stocks and starts in like Connecticut, Rhode Island area, and then goes south. Maybe even Boston, like Massachusetts area. I was gonna say, because I don't have any options freely for fucking internet service providers. I think Verizon is one of them, or Xfinity is one of them here at this particular, like, apartment building that we could use, but as it sits, there's nothing else. I had Spectrum. I had, like, an actual, like, oh. Oh, yeah, and T Mobile, yeah. We have, like, Verizon, U.S. Cellular, 
T-Mobile's not up here too much. No, not really. Like, six hours north of that. Boston's a day trip. <laughs> Boston can be a day trip. Get up early, like 8 a.m., be there by noon, noon 30. Yeah, north of Connecticut. Even north of Massachusetts. Might as well have the capital of the state be the Winterfell, for fuck's sake, if you want to get into it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Wintertime is a lot of fun here. Not well, not recently, I guess though. No. Nice try. I like maple syrup, but no. Nice try. I'm not Canadian. Man. No. South of Canada. <laughs> South of Canada, north of Connecticut. That's the name of my new album, by the way. I'm gonna name my I'm gonna name my first album that. South of South of Canada, but north of Connecticut. It's gonna be my new punk rock band's album. There you go. Final track will be Smoko by the Chats. We're gonna do a cover of it. Got some powerful magic hiding in their hands. Yeah, Canadians get free health care. I, I still live in America. There's a difference. <laughs> might, as, might as well be Canadian for part, for part of the time anyway, I guess. I don't fucking know. I've only gone to Canada one time. I had Chinese food there. It was pretty good. You thought I was going to say something about syrup. Nice, nice try. Toxic mushrooms, okay. So not the fun kind. Gotcha. Fun for a little bit. So I feel like you're using Canadian derogatory, and in like a derogatory sense. I'm being very sarcastic, by the way. This is, it's kind of funny. It's such a bash on people, too. Fucking 
What are you, Canadian? No. Not Canadian. Nah, nothing. I'm just I'm just playing around. Oh, the um that snowstorm that just plowed through recently. It wasn't bad. I mean by regular standards, but you know, like growing up and living in the same state the entire time, like this one's not bad. That or that last one was not that bad. At least for me. I was fine. It definitely was scary though. It wasn't like like I had to work that day, so I had to drive like forty minutes from home and that took like way too long. My work definitely should have not had us go in. And let alone like I should have just called out because it was that it was ugh. The roads were bad, but like there were no power outages really. Everybody was like sitting pretty pretty nice and pretty and not having any issues, which is cool. Cause we had a storm go through like a couple weeks prior to that and it was like way worse. We lost power for like five days. No, it wasn't five days. It was like three or four though. If you can open your car door, it's not it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's not that bad. Am I trudging through the snow? Up to my knees? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, it's like it's like a good like ankle deep snow and and or like maybe a little higher like halfway up the shin. So not too bad, but like definitely not great to drive in. It's also slightly icy too, like ice mixed in with the snow too. Which doesn't help. And a lot of the time recently it's been like rain first, then it freezes, and then it snows on top of it. Which makes it even worse to drive on than it was before. Night Comet. Ooh. That one, I think, is technically invisible. It goes through armor and shit. Oh, yes! We're gonna go to the four belfries. Hell yeah. Cash money. We're gonna make another guess. I hope the storm wasn't bad for you. If it if it was, there, Patty. That 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 storm was affecting like the whole East Coast too. So I hope it didn't do too much for your for your home and or home state. Okay. Thought there was a boss around here somewhere. Am I just going crazy? Oh, I knew it. Haha. <laughs> I don't remember what boss this is, but we'll be ready on the list. Oh. Oh, they have like distance weapons. Holy cow. Jesus, age fucking Christ. Oh, 
That didn't last long. Christ. If you let me get a word in edgewise, that'd be great. Good lord. What the fuck? That's cool. I didn't know that they did that. Nope. South enough to not be too cold. North enough to not get too hot. We're typically getting bad rain during the winter. It snowed here like three years ago. Oh my god. Jesus, how bad? Oh, where... Where would that end up? Anyway, like... Virginia? South... Like, South Carolina... North and South Carolina, maybe? That's usually where I would assume that to be a common issue. Especially the rain. Especially the rain. Ugh. I'm just glad that I get to I get to deal with snow from time to time like it's not all the time. Ah, oh, my assumptions were right. Perfect. That's not too bad. I just live in a state where you basically could get lost in the woods in the middle of a snowstorm. <sighs> uh, cold? I mean, cold has varying levels of different, different ability, but if you want to say, like, cold, and it's going to be, like, cold enough where I'm going to complain about it all the time, it's probably going to be anywhere between, like, God, I'd say probably, like, 15 to 0, like, 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 0, 0 Fahrenheit. It's, like, really cold. Like, 32 is cold. That's, like, what it was today. It was, like, in the 30s, but it was, like, you're accustomed to it, so it's, like, basically a nice like 50 degree day i know it's kind of weird to say but like the way that it you like balance out temperature wise is like pretty weird the worst part is the transition between seasons that's the worst part because we'll have what like a bunch of cold for like six months and then that gets turned into mud season because everything thaws as it warms and dirt becomes mud and it rains consistently all the time. Then it dries out for two and a half months and then we can do stuff. 30 degrees, no jacket. Um, it. I don't use jackets. I, I'm weird. I have just like really thick sweatshirts. Well, my workplace it gave me a sweatshirt, which is comfortable, and that's good for about, like, 30 degree weather. And then I have a, another sweatshirt that I got from a previous job, my previous job, where I was a legal drug dealer, because my state has cannabis legalized. hey -o. um... They gave me, like, a super thick sweatshirt. And so I can, like, double up on those, and sometimes I can just, like, swap it out, depending on how cold it is. Plus, like, mornings could start at zero and then go up to, like, 25. And then that, that, that's, like, going from, you know, oh, my nose is getting a little, a little stiff, a little stiff, like, as I, I try to flex it. 
you can, like feel the muscles in your nose kind of like take a second to come back down. Oh no, not those fucking guys. Oh yeah. You can... I just don't have a jacket. Well, I do have a jacket. I don't want to make it sound like I don't own things, but like, I do have a snow jacket. I just don't use the snow jacket. Because it's not warm. <laughs> That's the thing about my jackets. All the jackets I own, they don't keep me warm. The sweatshirts keep me warm. Snow jackets are... or well, not snow... yeah, snow jackets are good against wind. But then you have to wear, like, an insulator level below that, which sucks. Then you can, like, sweat really bad. My flesh is a curse. Now if it's, like, like, 30, and it's, like, lightly snowing, you can... Depending on the wind, that's the thing. Like, if it's blowing wind then you get really cold really fast. But if it's, like, snow that's just, like, falling straight down and, like, no wind at all, it's, like, pretty tolerable. You can go outside for a few minutes and be, like, feeling pretty good. That's it. That's it, though, really, like, realistically speaking. You don't want to be outside in the cold for too long. You don't survive the cold. One does not simply stop cold. Okay, so we're gonna pop down here real quick, because we do have... Shorts? Nah. Shorts get switched out for jeans pretty quick. Um... I would stop wearing shorts at probably around like 45, 40. But it, but it like it has to be consistent. It has to be like a consistent temperature for me to want to do that cuz sometimes the temperature will fluctuate like really bad. Like it the, the fluctuation in temperature is ridiculous. Like one morning could be 37 and the afternoon could be 68. And then it would come back down to, like, 45 at night and cool off. That's, like, a normal day during, like, the fall. Or at least it was this year. It was... Oh, my God. If you are my flesh brides with scarlet trot. But yeah, can I give you one of those, like, blossom things and you can, like take it and feel better? Is that a thing? She needs something else. She needs the prosthetic arm or something like that, I think. Starlight shards, whatever. Oh, I can't wait to face Radon again, though. I'm excited. Radon's awesome. I love the Radon fight. I also found out about the fact that there's a doorway that's way out past the boss area for Radon. There's a catacombs out in the desert. Used to you used to use used to do fire pits when you were a youngin. Um yeah, kind of, I guess. Like, not really. I don't know. It's... it... It depends. I guess. We'd never have... We'd never do fire pits unless we were, like, camping. Like, specifically, like, we left our home and, like, went somewhere and then, like, either put down a tent or did, like, the camper thing. Like, stayed in a camper kind of thing. And then we would use, then we would do like fire pits and stuff, but like never usually at home, at least for me personally. But we totally could have. This was not a common thing for me, actually. Fire pits are nice though. Fire pits are super nice. 
as I got older, I ended up using a fire pit in my house before I moved to my current my current abode. I love the way that wood smells, on, like the wood, way wood smoke smells like on clothes when you're done. Like when you're like done with it, you go like inside, you sleep, you wake up the next morning and it's cold, it's crisp, but you grab your sweatshirt from last night and you just, ah, it's got that nice wood smoke smell to it. It's just so good. You see those guys that do the deep freeze camping on YouTube? No, the what is that? Do they go like take tents and like go to a place where it's gonna be like ridiculously hard to like be in a tent with like a lot of snow and shit? Because if so, that's fucking crazy. Oh, that guy's got a lot of health. need to do we need to use our levels um i haven't seen those guys but i did see the dude who's like the middle-aged dad who like will just literally take a sled of stuff with him into the middle of the wilderness and just like live there for like a month on his own or a weekend or something uh, they all go out and build some of them some of them build snow shelters in, like, minus 15. Oh, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Fuck that nonsense. That is... I mean, if I'm building a shelter, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna have to st stop wind immediately. Because if it's negative 15 without the wind chill, then good. If it's negative 15 with a wind chill, then no. That would equal death. That would equal quick death, actually. Very quick death. Oh my god. That is fucking nuts. Do you have a name for him? Because if so, then I'm going to look him up later. Look him up after I'm done streaming, to be honest, because that'd be fucking awesome. Get them. Get them bats. Attack my pretties. Oh, she's just using the poison, huh? I like to watch from the warmth of my bed. Oh, trust me, I understand that completely. Like, you guys look like you're having fun. There. I'm totally comfortable here. Underneath my warm blanket and my warm bed inside of my warm house. Where there isn't a wind chill that could kill me. I can actually not have to worry for my survival every second of the sec every second of the waking moment that I am alive. A, a little bit in one way of a sense, I guess. Outdoor boys. I I'm gonna check it out then too. I have seen, I definitely have seen that, like, older guy, though, who, like, goes out in the middle of the wilderness on his own. He's got his little, like, stove that he brings around with him everywhere. It's like a folding stove. He's, like, oh, it's fucking awesome. He's so wholesome. Such a wholesome dude. But I'll definitely give those outdoor boys a, ch a check out. They're patty, so... 
I don't see why why you would do me wrong here. All right, run through. Listen, what is cold, though? What do you turn... Isn't there, is there a video of some dude who's like, it's like, how do you like to sleep? It's like, uh, you know, I like to sleep at like 77 degrees Fahrenheit. What the fuck? Uh, thick socks on and under a warm blanket in a warm house. You're right. That's how you do that. And no... I mean, it's enjoyable content, then. It's just good content to watch. I mean, if you enjoy the content, why? it's not... I don't see why it would be sadistic. Oh, same. 100%. Not only does it help me sleep, it helps me with my fucking tinnitus problems if I have any. I don't have tinnitus outright, but... Yikes. I can't hear for shit. I have my window cracked open a little bit too when I sleep, so there's like a slow creep of like, in the summer I don't mind if my room's 65, 65 is comfortable though too, that's like not a problem. As long as you have a fan on too, like, oh my god. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but like when it gets hot I just like don't want to like, exist. The heat makes my fucking breathing all fucked up, too. I hate it. It's so humid and shit. That's cool. So far, this playstyle is working out really well, which is nice to, nice to see. Two-handed greatsword? Hmm, what a surprise. That seems to work really well. It staggers everything. God. Oh my god, yeah, no good for the electric bill. Holy fuck, his... Ugh. Why... why does... Why is it so expensive to use electricity? It's literally such a common thing, too. Like, you... People use it, you like have to use it in order to like basically make a living off anything nowadays, anyway. It sucks. And just to be comfortable, too. Let, not even like worrying about a living of anything or any kind. Like, fucking try to just focus on you staying comfortable and okay. It's like expensive just to do that. It's dumb. Yeah, AC is the thing that, like, ruins the electric bill, too. Really bad. You know what also ruins your electric bill? Is when you have, like, too many fucking consoles plugged into your fucking shit, and you don't use half of them. That's why I keep mine unplugged. <clears throat>
Well, now I'm just mildly confused, but yeah. Yeah, worst moment of moving is when... Oh, yeah. I hate that. I actually don't... I don't really care for that as well. That's, like, a pain in my ass as well. Sometimes, like, the last couple of times where I've had to move and I had internet service already kind of set up, I could, like, have them move it for me before I get there so I can just plug my equipment in and it will work. But that doesn't happen every time. I'm just happy that it happens from time to time. That's it. Okay, so it's just a small jump across, I guess, instead. I don't know why I thought there was a fall down. Oof. Oh, big mama rat. Not happy. I think the thing that I despise the most is when I go into a new place that I'm trying to live in and I have to deal with city water. That's probably my least favorite thing, actually. Like, I can deal with no internet, personally, because I'm old. I'm just an old fucking person, I guess. I just don't care when internet's gone. Because I grew up without internet for, like... 13 years of my life or something like that, like 12 years of my life, so there's never really a need or a want for it, and then we got it, and I'm like, hey, cool. <laughs> That's dope as shit. But yeah, like, city water, I do not like. I do not like city water. If you can give me well water, I'll take well water most of the time. But of course, both have their advantages and disadvantages, so I just don't... Uh, city water is like treatment plant. Like, you know, I don't know. Per okay, like, <laughs> growing up, I, I, had, I have what was called well water, where you have like a, a well dug for you, of course. That makes sense. But like, I don't have to go out and like turn a thing and then bring the bucket up and everything like that. That would be so bad. I'm fucking living in like 1800s for fuck's sake. Um, but like, well water just like tastes better and it's kind of better for you because you get more natural minerals through it. I Personally, I think. And the taste is really much better. Sometimes city water is like flat and it, it's kind of like meh. And it has, like, a really weird smell to it. It's, like, funky. Sometimes it's got a funk to it, and it's just not... It's not good. I don't like it. Yeah. Not a huge fan. I've only had to deal with it myself, like, one time, but thankfully it's it was only, like, for a year, and if I really wanted to drink water, I would almost, like, rather just go get a, um... I'd rather just get a pack of, like, bottled water and drink the bottled water. A nice, fresh, crisp, like... A nice new thing of, like, Poland Springs. Mmm. Get a nice chilled Poland Colon Springs out of the fridge, hell yeah. Someone hands me a Dasani, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Oh, there he is! I was like, where's the Erdtree avatar for this fucking place, eh? I said I'm not Canadian and I just said A. Like, 
Like, I was supposed to take offense to that of some kind, but, like, what the fuck? I just did that. Wow. That's just gonna be atrocious. His friend is, like, hiding in his freaking crotch. Come on. In case I have to go back over here, by the way. Thank you. Oh, I rolled at the wrong time. Damn it. That sucks. We'll go back to the stake of America. Damn. Look at... That's actually a pretty good amount of progress, I think, so far. It's not bad. Um, we're gonna go to... This one, go back and talk to the guy, and then hopefully get across the bridge and into the castle. So that. face Radon next time, hopefully. Because I gotta go to bed soon. <laughs> 10, a 10 p.m. is the fucking maximum most, for the most part. Good. Thank you, sir. I was... There's danger afoot, I guess. Weird. There's nothing that I could see that was giving me an issue, but okay. Oh. Playing any good games lately, there, Patty? I would rather would you, mind? you can if you wish. If you don't want to, still, that's fine. Totally up to you. I promise not to spoil anything, though, because I don't really like the spoilers uh, game myself either. That was easier than expected. She feels so. Oh. Cathedral of Dragon Communion. How about that? Oh. Cracking and popping my hands. God, ow. Sometimes just... Ugh. Seed, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It sounds good to me. Hey, listen, I get it. Not a problem. Not a problem. It's happened too many times. No, totally fair. Totally fair. I will let you know though, if you're taught if you're playing like a Resident Evil game, if you're playing a Final Fantasy game, 
Xenoblade Chronicles? Not a fucking clue. I have not a fucking clue what those games are like. I've never once played them. I played Resident Evil 5 with a friend all the way through in like a couple sittings. That was literally it. I've never played like any of the Final Fantasy games or anything like that. But yeah, if it's any of those, no problem. But if it's something newer, I probably already know what it is. So yeah, it's probably best not to tell me. But I would never tell anybody about it because I hate it too. That's just awful. I don't know why people like to spoil things for other people. It just doesn't make any sense to me. fell off there. Holy shit, that was way too close. Uh, that doesn't look fun. Uh, that's a ballista of some kind that shoots fire. That's awesome. Or it shoots a bolt that, like, explodes. I'm playing some FromSoft, Gunfire, Bethesda, Capcom, and indie studio games at the moment. Ooh. Hell yeah. Use the studios. That's awesome. Because then that makes it... Makes it not easy to guess, but at least I know in the vein of what you're doing. Capcom's a... Capcom's a weird one, though. I'm not really sure what Capcom's done that I can think... I don't even really play Capcom games. The only Capcom game I can think of is, like, Dead Rising. Like, they've done way more than just that. I'm just piss poor at that. Okay, so it says I can summon Torrent, but I can't summon him here? Is that the gig? I can summon him down here. In FromSoft games, like... I can't spoil a FromSoft game for somebody, because then that's just rude. Oh, Capcom does make Resident Evil, don't they? Shit! Oh my god! Oh, it's atrocious. Oh, I should be so much better than that. Damn it. I should have known that. I don't even... I couldn't even begin to tell you who I would have thought made that game beforehand. Oh, no. no I want the goodies. Oh, okay, cool. Flaming Strike. Nice. It's an Ash 4. Smoldering Butterfly times 8. Okay, I guess I can use that for some sort of crafting thing. Yeah, FromSoft games are great. Um, Gunfire is another one that I'm not really sure of. But I definitely... Definitely seen that. Oh! Oh, it doesn't... No. I'm probably going to be wrong again. I don't want to guess. I don't want to guess who it is, what game it is. Remnant. Bethesda games can be a Fallout game or a fucking uh, Elder Scrolls game. Both of which are fucking awesome, and I would never ever do an RPG like that either. Oh my god. If someone ruined, like, what happened, like, throughout the whole campaign of, like, The Witcher, and, like, I want to play The Witcher 3 at some point. Like, if someone did that to me, I'd be... Uh, oh. I don't think I'd ever want to, like, do anything with them again. Just ruin my fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, I was like, why does gunfire sound so familiar? Like, why? And it's because I played through Remnant, and that game is just fucking incredible. 
great gameplay mechanics. No story to ruin, personally, because I didn't even understand what was going on at all. Realistically speaking, I was in it for the bosses. I was told it was Dark Souls with guns, so I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, hey, hey, easy, easy. Shh. Easy, dog. Easy. Like Caesar Milan. And we're back outside. Nice. Good. Like to see that. Armorer's cookbook. Oh, there's so many arrows I can make now, too. Holy shit. Alleviates madness build up. Build up. Hell yeah. I'll have to look into what else Gunfire has made, too, because I I really liked Remnant. Remnant was awesome, and I've heard Remnant 2 is great as well. And thankfully, my friends are not assholes, and they're playing through Remnant 2 and not spoiling any of it for me. And I'm super, super thankful for that. Found the Bloodborne motherfucker. No, I haven't played the second one yet. I'm I'm going to though, hopefully soon. I want to get it and play through at some point soon. But my friends and I are like, we're co-workers as well, so we both get to, we all get to work and play games together basically for the most part, and it's not bad. Thankfully. That's, that's, that's the best part. Yeah, we all get to work together, we all get to play games together for the most part, and it doesn't happen all the time, because obviously lives, and, you know, you have different, different people have different things going on, so, you know, from what we can do, or what we are able to do, we try to play games as much as we can. Um... Not really. I, I Well, first of all, they have the game already. They both, the people who would play it, I believe out of the two people that would play it, maybe three. Because there's like me and three other guys usually. If we were all to play it, then maybe. Um, I don't think it would happen if all four of us tried to play at the same time. It's more common to have like two people play at the same time, but... We, we're, we're trying to play a little bit more Valheim right now, currently, um, which I'll probably end up playing tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then that's going to be Borderlands 2 with another one of my guy, one of my other dudes that I play games with. Because we both really wanted to go through and get the tr trophies for the Borderlands, Borderlands 2, because we have the Handsome Collection on there and we really we did the same thing for that uh we did the border we did borderlands 2 on like the 360 as well so we were like you want to play through that and i'm like fuck yeah dude let's fucking go again and that's been so much fun um this first playthrough was was a breeze you don't even need to worry about the story in that game because that game i've played through so many times i don't even just nothing. I don't have like we were playing it. And I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, all right, sure. Like I, I, I just played it so much. There's no reason to worry about it that bad. Okay, lots of fire and lots of fire. No thanks, guys. Let's 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 put let's put the ice on this one, okay? Oh. <laughs> One person's killing all of his friends. He almost killed me too.
Yeah, we're really hoping to get some more Valheim time in right now, though. Remnant is on the table. Remnant is definitely on the table soon, just not as of right now. Oh, you fucking dickbag. I did 347 damage, apparently, and that is nothing. Red Hot Wet Blade. Wet Blades are good, right? think about it. I didn't play that many fucking Bethesda games. I think I've played everything from Fallout 3 to current, which literally leaves out like any of Morrowind, um, Oblivion. I didn't play Oblivion. Oblivion's just never gonna happen, I think. Fallout 76? Nah. Oh, Valheim is, like, so good. Like, I would recommend that game if you really like the survival aspect of games. It's much more survival than it is building, but the building is super satisfying. And you can get, like, your engineering degree from it. It's fucking awesome. Everything takes weight, you know, like, load-bearing and all that jazz. You have to... It's best to like frame your house and then put walls on, that kind of thing. It's fucking awesome. I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, but the Remnant 1 DLC, I don't really remember if I played it or not, to be very honest with you. I know I played the base game of 1. Um, I do not know if I did the DLC though. I also don't remember, like, what a boss would be from the DLC, actually, now that I think about it. I really think I only did the base game. That's actually kind of sad, because I think I do have the DLC for it. Oh, man, how long ago did I play Remnant? Remnant was probably, like, a good... year and a half or two ago, probably, if I had to guess. Sometime during the pandemic, I think. For sure. It was for sure during the pandemic, though. I know that for sure. And that's just... That you, I think we can all agree that's kind of a time pit. It kind of just turned time into a weird pit. Um... I need some better fucking miracles. Jesus. Do you, um... Do you remember the, um... Yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, I can't even believe that it was... Like, I remember seeing Australia on fire, and that was, like, the month beforehand. It was, like, February of 2019. February of 2020. And then there was inklings and, like, talks about stuff going on. And then it was, like, by March, then everything was, like, okay, it's it's all gone. You know? It just did... It, it was... Uh, it was not good. Did I not get that fucking grace site that's just past all those guys, because if not, I'm just going to run to it. <laughs> now I'm going to run to it. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh, what a... What a classic move. What a classic move for me, to be honest. What the fuck. Please go, thank you. Um... Patty, do you remember the boss that's on the bridge in Remnant 1 specifically? Um, and it's the, like, mods? Like, the dual mods? At all? Like, that was, like, the last thing that I remember doing, really. And I'm not really sure what that's at, particularly. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. We're just running through some Kaled shit right now. We're trying to get into the Red Main Castle. Well, we were already here, actually. Yeah, like, there was a lot of Australia on fire, like, the month before COVID happened. There was, like, two things that, like, led up, and then it was COVID. It was, like, the, the, like, the saying of, like, there's three bad things, and then, like, you know, normally bad things comes in threes. It was, like, January, something happened. February was on fire, and then March was just the next two years. Or longer, really. Yeah. COVID was not fun to deal with on top of personal crises as well. That, that, that happens as well. For me, it was not great. That time just all, that whole time just seems so fucked up. I mean, Remnant 1. Okay. Alright. Alright. You listen here. You're getting... You're getting a little finger snap. You're getting a little sassy finger snap back. There you go talking spoilers. I know. There I go talking spoilers. God. Yeah, the moth bosses were just not not great. Moth bosses are like atrocious, really hard. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you get some pretty good drops beforehand that hopefully help your crit damage, and that will really send it up to the fucking moon. And it makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more bearable, but not by much. The tree fight was ridiculous too. That is true as well. Yeah, trying to... and it, it, For me too, it was a new game as well, and like new concepts, so like... I. I know what to do, but like, yeah, that tree boss as well at the beginning was not great either. It's a lot of like, um... Oh wow, yeah. Really? Oh man. Isn't that first boss, or that tree boss, isn't that that lady that, um, sits in the chair or whatever and you have to like defend her? I think? That's like literally like first thing in the game, like first, what I remember being the big, first big thing in the game. Oh, really? Oh, man. Then I'm lost. Man, I only played through that game once. Oh. That's a mini boss? Oh, man. Damn. 
then you must be talking about like one of them big tall tree walk that like walks around shit. Oh, the yes. Okay. Okay. I forget how that game works from time to time, to be very honest with you. So, like, you reminding me about world bosses makes it a lot easier for me to remember. And plus, the way that that game was described to me was so weird, too. But it ended up being really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I remember the first tree boss. I just got... <sighs> I get confused pretty easily between games, to be honest. So, like, sometimes it'll be, like, the tree boss. And I'm like, okay. I, I don't remember. But then after, the, like, the world boss thing, like you saying world boss, it helps, it helps the memory get triggered to be like, oh, yes, okay. Yep. I'm pretty sure we'd re-roll that one a couple of times so that way we could get like certain a certain drop of an item for one of my buddies, to be honest. It was for us it wasn't bad, but they already knew what they were doing, and they could kinda carry me a little bit, but not by much. Oh no. No, world bosses aren't random. I know that. But you can get loot from them that's randomized, right? I want to say you can. At least that's what my first that's what my initial like understanding of the game was. Because I was told that you could, like, re-roll areas, so that way, like, bosses would drop either better stuff or more stuff, I think. But I could obviously be wrong. I'm not, like, obviously not the person to remember the game. I don't know if I want to do Dexterity, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, mmm. Kinda want to do health. But I know what's behind that door and I'm gonna go with damage. Yeah, see, I could do- I, if you don't know about it, then I'm gonna assume that I might be wrong. Like, to be very honest, that's just- I don't know. Okay, yep, there's the Misbegotten. Yeah, he's got anger issues. And there's the Crucible Knight, too. God damn it. I'm fucked. I'm just, I, did I not drink the juice at all? No, I didn't. I thought I did. Huh. Have I played Atomic Heart? I have not. No. I have not played Atomic Heart. I've heard that it's really good, but I don't really know much about it, to be honest. And I also don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this guy. Oh, it's 10.30. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. A time gets so fucking dil diluted. 
I mean... Okay, I mean, when I started, I only had, like... I only had the Smoldering Church. I only had the Smoldering Church, and I went through it and did all of this already, so... And I did Celia. I did the side boss for Celia. I did Commander O'Neill. I went to Fort Gale. I mean, that's not bad. That's a good amount of stuff. It's a good amount of movement. I kind of wish that I could get this, though. That map piece, so I can just get the, the, the last the last bit of this part of the map, but that's okay. We can save that for next time, I think, because this is going to have to be where I dip out for the evening. Um, Patty, appreciate you being in here tonight. You've been an awesome follower, being loyal, and I appreciate it so much. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we got this game today... Thursday, we'll probably do more Sekiro on Thursday. And then Saturday and Sunday, we'll have to see what's going on, because I have I have stuff going on on Saturday, so we might have to try to squeeze in like a little short stream on Saturday. And then on Sunday is usually like a pretty him-ha kind of day. We can kind of chill out a little bit and do a little bit longer stream on Sunday. So... Yeah, uh, look forward to Sekiro on Thursday, and then we'll try to see what's going on on Saturday. Might start up the Undead Nightmare DLC for Red Dead, because I was doing that before I started doing a lot of Elden Ring stuff. And I need to finish that game up and start the second one, because that's a game that I still have yet to finish. And I want to experience that game in its full entirety. Um, that would be another good game to get under the belt this year um but yeah so securo thursday thanks for step stopping by um and go follow the youtube if you want to the vods and stuff will be on there um of the streams and i usually upload them the day or export them the day after so you can always watch them like the day after uh, the streams day after so uh, yeah, thanks for st stopping in, saying hi, checking out the content. Appreciate everybody, um, and uh, have a good night. We'll see you in the next one.